We began the Clean Power Champions several years ago, and the original idea was to recognize our ancestors and the, the founders of California's clean energy policies. And it's been our opportunity and privilege in these years to highlight the service and the contributions, many of which are, are unsung. It's the 12th edition of the Clean Power Champions. We started it in, back in 2003. At that time, we were celebrating the 40th anniversary of the most important energy legislation ever enacted by any state. The best analogy I can think of is the lifetime achievements for the Oscars. These are all men and women who have devoted their careers to clean energy. They've had their forms of recognition, whether it's been in business, whether it's been in government, but there really are no Oscars, if you will, for clean energy in California. But when you look at the continuity from Gray Davis to Arnold Schwarzenegger to Jerry Brown, you have got the kind of certainty that companies like mine find compelling to invest in the state. We've used the award to celebrate careers in clean energy leadership that have helped establish California in that role, both in the United States and internationally. These are among the architects of the modern California. They are the people who initiated a clean energy transition that's now reverberating around the world. I appreciate this award greatly. Um, and as a matter of fact, I can't think of any other time uh, in these last 40 years where somebody's bothered to give me an award about anything. <laughs> so, when I was a 34-year-old um, youngster, uh, had been a deputy secretary of state and one of the campaign managers for Governor Brown in his first term, uh, for reasons that are still a mystery, he selected me to be the chairman of the Energy Commission. Uh, the, the day he was inaugurated was the day that I started building the Energy Commission from a, a pad of paper, a pencil, and one borrowed secretary. We wanted to recognize Richard's role in, in basically laying the foundation for the Energy Commission to go on and do the wonderful work that it has done all these years. Tom Hayden is, is one of the originators of the idea of expanding solar energy as a cornerstone of California's energy and environmental policy. There's a, a law that I'm very fond of that um, requires the, the greenhouse gas be reduced emissions reduced, but the same legislation says at the same time there have to be co-benefits for disadvantaged communities. So the road to reforming our climate policies lies through reforming our justice policies. Whether you are a businessman or an activist, you will pay attention and take the opportunity to move the discussion forward. It's not just uh, politics and economics, it's not just science. You've come far with that coalition. Now we have to reach masses of people and those people are moved by spiritual hunger as well as physical and material hunger. And when this Pope declares that the earth is not just a storehouse of stuff for us to turn into products, but that the earth itself in the universe itself and creation itself are worthy of being considered and respected as sacred, you will feel a strong vibration around the planet that the environmental movement has not been able to generate on its own. Varinder Singh is not well known beyond the company that he works with and the small group of colleagues, but he has played a very important role as a, a shuttle diplomat between and among the, some of the factions within the renewable industry. We have a lot more generations to come. As far as I can tell, we're using more and more energy to fuel our daily needs. We need something to supply that energy that supports many generations to come. There's debates on just about everything, but please do not take for granted the overall culture that has been established in this city and in the state in terms of what direction to go in. Hal Romanowitz, who is sadly no longer with us, was one of the, the true pioneers of the wind industry. And he was the one, along with other colleagues of ours, Rich Ferguson and Dave Olson, that really visualized Tehachapi. And that was really the first time that we had put together a renewable resource area 
with the transmission needed to get it to market and do it at the same time. It's just a wonderful event uh, to take a moment to honor the policymakers, the developers, the activists, and, and the other folks uh, who have done so much to make California what it is today, which is the leader in green energy throughout the U.S.